Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about how you can manage your assets using Gulp within our latest product called Good. Now before we start, again we will need to show you guys how you can purchase and download Good. Now you can find Good within the Bootstrap Marketplace which is located at themes.getbootstrapped.com and then scroll down to scroll on past our latest product which is the React version of Good and it's right here. So this is our HTML version, click on that and you'll see this and go ahead and purchase it. And once you've purchased it, it should look something like this. And in here, you need to go ahead and unzip downloaded package file. And within the themes folder and within the tools, you will find our gulp dot config now what we can do is open this gulp dot config within our id of choice at the moment we're using visual studio code and in here we have our gulp commands now to understand this gulp all this fields and what all this means let's go ahead and look at our documentation so let's go back to our dist folder and then let's open up our index using browser that so we just want to ensure that we are running or opening the file located within your your machine so it's a local folder and it's not loaded and off online anywhere on a server so let's go ahead and click documentation and go to build and go to gulp now in here we have our quick start so you just follow the steps to get gulp running and we have our build options so we have all, all of our options here and it's similar to with whatever that we have within our config file so if you look here it's a config file and this is what we have here. So it's almost the same, it just had maybe some minor differences here and there, but it is essentially the same. And then we have our build options, like we have like definitions. So this uh, this table here just defines what each of our option does. So a debug just enable disable uh, debug within the console log. And this is to enable disable RTL compilation, whether you want to skip it or you want to minify your CSS or JS or create source maps for it. And then we even have our build items where you can set up your base, your globals and so on. On. and then we have our gulp task where we can call basically create shortcuts for your build commands so gulp is our default build command where we just build our entire assets and deploys it to where you define it to plot to within you define it within the dist so you just change your path to the dist and you're good to go for example right here at the moment it's just going to be pushed into our dist slash assets which is right here this this folder right here All right but we even have other flags for our build so if you put two dashes and a command or a keyword this basically means that we are going to run a specific build type so if you put two dashes in rtl we'll be building the rtl versions of our assets rtl means left right to left it's mainly for if you want to read your text from right to left for languages such as like arabic and so on so if you want it if you want your build to just build your js do do double dashes and js if you just sas again two dashes sas and then if you just want media just put media and if you want to release or create a production ready asset assets list then you just put double dashes and prod and what does that does is just minifies all of your js and css and then you can also watch so every time that you make a change to a js or css it just recompiles your asset and then we have some localhost um, configurations if you want to change your localhost ports from our default 8080 to something else you can do so like this now this is all great on how you can set up your build however how you can manage your assets is if you go into the command or uh, in, the, in the config file if you scroll down to the build so we have our base and this is where we define where our assets are going to be deployed to like you can see these are the source of the components layouts and, and whatnot and where it's where all these components and layout js files are going to be deployed to and uh, including our css however this is the list of plugins that we have within good so we have our mandatory plugins and we have optional plugins that are both going to be compiled within our global plugin bundle file so this is the global plugin bundle for basically global plugins and what goes into here are basically everything that is listed within these two files so if you do not need anything for example if you do need select two for example all you need to do is just delete the select two option save it rerun your gub command and that's it select two is no longer no longer included within your project so that's for global plugin so the difference between global and custom plugins is global plugins are going to be all bundled up together within a single file and custom plugins are going to be bundled up within its own file so when you create your project you want to have a single plugins file and then if you have additional plugins that are basically relatively large and you don't want it to be hooked up with your global plugins or 
if this this custom plugin is only used or only available within a single page in your entire project so you do not need to reload this custom plugin like on every time if you include it into your global plugins bundle so here similar the, the plugins up here if you do not need anything actually if you don't need any of these custom plugins you can still leave it in you just don't include the bundle file into your project but if you want to just get rid of it again it's also fine just select all this and delete and it's gone so if, again this is how you can remove plugins to add plugins you need to decide whether it's a global plugin or it is a custom plugin if it's a global plugin you add it within the optional just add it right here like just create a new let's scroll all the way down maybe here just add a new line and then change the name the source path and if you have any custom fonts edit if not you can add like script styles and just place it here and save it build it and it will be located in your global plugin if you want custom plugins again similar just copy one of the samples here add in all the list of scripts that you want within your or to be bundled up together and define the destination on where it's supposed to be pushed to or deployed to and once you've done that run your gub command and you will have your plugin bundle which you then need to include into that individual or that one or two pages that requires this additional plugin cool so that's it for this video i hope you find this video informative if you did please give us a like and please also subscribe to our youtube channel so that the next time when we release an update or release a new video you get an update please follow our social medias as well links will be in the description below and i'll see you guys in the next video take care